There are many secret societies rumored to be out there. Organizations that are said to pull the strings of the world. They are the subject of many conspiracy theories. Over the years, people have had their views on what they are, but we cannot fully unravel the scope of their existence. The Illuminati conspiracy is among one of the most referenced conspiracy theories in history. In this documentary, we would like to explore the existence of the Illuminati conspiracy and secret societies. To know more about the level the Illuminati conspiracy has spread out, we talked to the Riara University students to know the scope of how the Illuminati conspiracy has spread out. My name is Tracy Chow, a student of International Relations and Diplomacy at Riara University. My name is Claudia Kalamo Jirongo. I am a student at Riara University studying journalism. Hello, my name is Mohamed Ali. I'm a fourth year student at Riara University. I'm pursuing a degree in communication and multimedia journalism. Um, my name is Larry Chapel. I'm a fourth year student doing a bachelor's degree in uh, communication and multimedia journalism. When I hear about the Illuminati, the first thing that comes to mind is um, rituals, brotherhood, um, secret society. That's what comes to mind. Um, when I hear Illuminati, the first thing that comes into my head is devil worshipping. And it started for me when I was a child. And my mom took me to church and I had a preaching about it. And he showed us slideshows about Beyonce and Rihanna being part of the Illuminati and songs that have messages behind them. Yeah. When I hear Illuminati, the first thing that comes to my mind is... Shit. Shit. Uh, when I hear the word Illuminati, um, I hear devil worshipping, I hear the devil. It's certain sacrifices. That's basically the things I hear on it. Unfortunately, I have not met anyone in the Illuminati. Not yet, at least, I believe, to my knowledge. And um, I believe it's real. I know it's real, yes. I have actually met a student and he was my classmate who was part of the Illuminati. But we didn't really call it Illuminati, we just called it devil worshipping really. Because he used to like draw creepy things on his drawing book and tell me things like hate your parents and stuff like that. Uh, I haven't met anyone in the Illuminati, but I do think it's real. Yeah. Okay, I can't really say I've met, but I've heard of people who are claimed to be, who are just deciding that that's their following, yeah? So, um, I can say, okay, let's say uh, I've, not, I've not met any of them yet. Yeah. I would not take part in the Illuminati since we, I believe that we both have different values as, as an, an organization and as, you know, as an individual. I can't take part in it, firstly because my religion, Islam, doesn't allow me. I'm a strict Muslim, and secondly, because even if I wasn't a Muslim, I don't agree with whatever they do. So, personally, I would not take part in the Illuminati because I don't think I'd sell my soul to the devil, and I don't want to burn in eternal fire for the rest of my life. So, yeah, I can't take part in it because, okay, by religion, I'm a Christian. In Christianity, the devil is like God's rival, yeah? so I can't. Taking it basically. Celebrities in the Illuminati, uh, I don't believe I do. Yes. <laughs> I can't say for sure. I can only tell you the ones that I have been told, like Beyonce and Rihanna, and people who just rose to fame suddenly, like for example, Doja Katu just became completely weird, or Sam Smith um, basically symbolizing the devil during a performance. So like, I feel like there are a lot of celebrities who might be part of it, but I don't think it's going to be specifically called Illuminati. I feel like there'd be another phrase for it because I feel like Illuminati has a specific um, agenda compared to complete devil worshipping. Yeah. I don't want to judge somebody if I'm not sure, so I don't want to mention names. No, I don't know anyone, any celebrity who's claimed to be one. Uh, according to the Muslim culture, we view Illuminati people as, how can I say, they, they are not people in the right way. 
there are people who are misled. Uh, but with good guidance, we never know they might find the light. Um, I think people in the Illuminati have rituals, yeah, such as initiation ceremonies before entering and before advancing to different levels, yeah, because I think that they have different levels, yeah, in the Illuminati. So I believe they have rituals, not necessarily religious uh, activities. Um, it depends on what you, um, when talking about people in Illuminati participating in religious activities, it depends on how you phrase it, because for some people, religious activities include sacrificing children, sacrificing animals, and we might not know what it really is. So I do think people do participate in it sometimes, yeah. I'm pretty sure they do, because it's a religion to them, so they, to them they have their own spring being. Basically, they do religious like practices to appease their God. I do not think the Illuminati is a religion by itself. I believe that it's just an organization and some of them might find the term religion in association to them as an insult. Yeah. Yes, I think people classify it as a religion. I believe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a religion. It's like a movement. It's what, it's like a belief. People have faith in it. And I do think people in the Illuminati participate in religious activities because I feel like they believe like Illuminati is their religion. So they believe like Illuminati is a religion in itself. In my opinion, I believe the Illuminati is not a lot about revolution being if at all it is. I think it's more about just like-minded people who are who have different views of society and how to run society. Just meet up and you know, just do their thing. I believe there's more to it, but I feel like the anchor to the Illuminati is Devaloshmi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the the basic thing about Illuminati. The Illuminati is just the devil, yeah. Or they know everything about the devil, they know how to appease him in their own ways, so yeah. I think it's all about devil worshiping because the things they do, the signs that they make, uh, you can't tell me that there's something more to that. It's all about devil worshiping. Okay, I've heard how they can give people prosperity if you join you're selling your soul to the devil and all that. Um, but then I've also had um, their history, yeah? how they were more of different people who had different ideas of society at those times in the 15th century. And it was mostly about having, having a new mind, having a different mind, yeah? But nowadays, unfortunately, it's been reduced to success and prosperity and wanting to get a job and what have you. I feel like it's still alive, but it's been normalized so much that you would not realize that it has been normalized. So there are a bunch of cults around around us, um, and we may not realize what a cult is in general, in because we can think a cult is just people bowing to down to the alive. devil or doing something satanic, but a cult is just basically people idolizing something so much that they will do anything for it. So I believe there are cults around us. Secrecy is their identity. On this documentary, we can only speculate on what we know about them. But one thing that is true is that they live among us.